Hi, my name is Chris Soltero. I'm an emergency department nurse and part of the LAC USC COVID response team. I've worked at LAC USC for a few years and have cared for hundreds of patients with COVID since the beginning of the pandemic. I have extensive direct experience in caring for patients like you who have gone through what you're going through right now. We understand how scary this must feel and are here to help you and keep you safe. Now, a member of our team is going to review what you need to know and what to do to keep yourself safe and at home on oxygen. Hello, my name is Alex. I'm here today to walk you through how to set up an oxygen supply at home. The following equipment will be provided to you. A pulse oximeter, a portable oxygen tank, an electric oxygen concentrator, and a nasal tubing. If you are missing any of these items or feel that they are not working properly, please call KLOX at 323-255-5175. The pulse oximeter is a small machine you put on your finger. It tells you how much oxygen is going into your blood. The higher the percentage, the better. The oxygen tank has a number dial that tells you how much extra oxygen is flowing. The higher the number, the more oxygen is being released. The tank contains a limited supply of oxygen. Depending on the size and how much you are using, it could only last for a few hours. So the tank is only meant to be used until you can switch to the concentrator and then only as an emergency backup. After you start using the concentrator, your portable tank is only for traveling to and from the hospital. The oxygen concentrator, when plugged in and turned on, provides an unlimited supply of extra oxygen. Like the tank, it contains a number dial which tells you how much extra oxygen is flowing. Nasal tubing connects from the O2 concentrator or oxygen tank and into your nose. Now let's go over the steps on how to use your oxygen tank and oxygen concentrator. Step 1. Plug the nasal tube into the oxygen tank. Step 2. Grab the nasal tube and insert the prongs into your nose. Make sure that the prongs are facing downward. Step 3. Wrap the nasal tubing around each ear. Step 4. Tighten the tube by grabbing the plastic ring and pulling it upward until it feels secure. Step 5. Turn the regulator to the left and begin oxygen flow. Let's go over how to transition from using your oxygen tank to your oxygen concentrator. Step 1. Plug in your oxygen concentrator into a power source. Step 2. Unplug the nasal tube from the tank and connect it to the oxygen concentrator. If you would like the tube to reach a longer distance, you may use the longer oxygen supply tube by connecting it to the oxygen concentrator and connecting it to the nasal tube by using the oxygen tubing swivel connector. Step 3. Power on your oxygen concentrator. Be sure to turn off your portable tank to save the remaining supply as your emergency backup. The oxygen concentrator is the machine you will be using at home. In some cases, you might get this when you leave our hospital, but otherwise, we will make sure it is delivered to your home after leaving the hospital. Remember, if the tank or concentrator isn't on, if the tubing is not connected to the machine, or if the tubing is not in your nose correctly, you will not get any extra oxygen. So if you have all this equipment and you know how to use it, how do you know if you are safe at home? There are two ways to tell. The first being, how are you feeling? And the second, what are your numbers? In order to be safe at home, you need to feel comfortable breathing at rest and with minimal activity. For example, getting up and going to the bathroom. Another way to think of this is that you need to feel at least the same or improve since you left the hospital. If you don't feel comfortable breathing at rest, or with minimal activity, or if you are feeling worse than when you left the hospital, you are unsafe and you need to return to the emergency department. Even if you feel comfortable, your numbers still have to be okay for you to be safe. If you need one to three liters of oxygen per minute to get 92 to 94%, you are safe. If you need three to four liters of oxygen per minute to get to 92 to 94%, or borderline. If you need four or more liters of oxygen per minute to get to 92%, or if you can't get to 92% at all, you are unsafe. Go to the emergency department right away. Thank you. I will now be passing this to Dr. Josh Banerjee. My name is Josh Banerjee, and I'm a doctor here at LACUSC Medical Center, 
where I get to work with a world-class team that has the privilege of caring for a world-class community and patients like you. All of us here are fiercely committed to your health, and the first step in that is your safety. Please watch and re-watch this video to make sure you understand what it takes to be safe at home. Based on our experience, whether it's days or weeks, most likely you will be able to stay home and recover safely. But remember, if at any point you are unsafe, please come back right away. We want you to come back right away where we can care for you here to make sure that you're safe. Thank you.